Hello, everybody. This is the unnamed podcast. Yeah. <laughs> the unnamed podcast. <laughs> Welcome. We kind of agreed on that. We don't yeah. really have a... We'll, we'll, we'll talk about why it's unnamed when we get to that point. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what are we going to talk about so, today? Well, let's introduce ourselves. I'm yeah. Rylan, or Dark Evil Ninja. Um, Matt, you go next. Alright, I'm Matt, or MattBoy9921. Alright, I'll go next. Uh, I'm yours, uh, and my IGN is yo yo yours 5 I'll go next. I am Zagaris, also known as T Douglas or T Zug or Zuga Zuga Zuzu. Don't make funny for that. Um, <laughs> and my IGN, <laughs> my IGN is Zagaris. Yeah, and nobody pronounces it right, which is just hilarious for me. Yeah, probably not. Um, anyway, uh, I'm Chrome Syndicate. Um, most people just call me Chrome. Yeah, that's it. It's all about me. Okay. Um, that went so over first so of all, well. <laughs> why are we doing this podcast? Um, you know, podcast, podcast. Yeah, we're, we're it? actually we're actually. Why we, are we, we doing this? I guess. Yeah, I kind of started up this idea because we're not doing anything. No, because uh, our our admin of the server <laughs> has just ran off, and we yeah. don't know why he is. He's been gone he for a month. Plus we lost now. our leader. He was kidnapped by gnomes and. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> we, we failed to catch yeah. them in time, and we that's gone forever. Really Not bored. Forever, but it's awful. Decided we'd start a podcast. We're all members of the X Monster Tech server. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Country of origin. I live in the United States of America. Same here. America. <laughs> Whole land. Or in the Netherlands, the land of drugs and hookers and everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I am from America. Yep. It's it's America. <laughs> it's it's four against America. one. Four against one. <laughs> yeah, but but you know it won't hurt me because I'll probably be uh, be under influence of uh, some uh, drugs. Hey, you know what? This some drug. I don't know. Stronger. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Definitely when you're sitting there in a corner crying. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, the reason I said unnamed podcast is because we're starting up a new server, correct? And mm -hmm. who's, who's going to be? Who's paying for it? Uh, David and yours and a real life friend of David are going to pay it All for it. They're going to they're gonna share the cost for a new server. It's pretty much going to be all the old monster tech people. Yeah, and then including but that then the friend. the new guy, his friend. Yeah. Um, so I said no name because we need Cost a, the unnamed. Yeah, because we, we're starting a new group. We really shouldn't have the same old name for a new group. Mm-hmm. I don't, but I don't, I don't know what a new name should be. I didn't really think about it. I thought, I'm like... You know, we should have a new name, but I don't have any idea what it should be. I don't think anybody of us, uh, yeah, any one of really, us, I has haven't think about it. actually sat down and thought about what a new name would be. Like, what sounds cool? <laughs> oh, God, well. <laughs> I, I, I have a nothing. name. Don't have gamers at the end of it, because that's cliche. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I just messaged friends that saying that they I was doing a podcast, and they're on there, want the link. Should I shoot them away or? Um. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Yeah. You want the link to the podcast? I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Oh, uh, we're not live. Yeah, tell them. Yeah, we're not live. Good, live. good, good, good. We're not live. I'll tell them that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we're, we'll probably live stream it one day. There's some pretty yeah. nifty, you know, like stuff for that. You can just stream it off Twitch. Yeah, exactly. Or you can. Twitch. Yeah. Or what SoundCloud. Twitch? Has a streaming function as well. Yeah. Or the like YouTube. To... YouTube has a streaming function. Yeah, but I don't think you're able to get into the streaming function if you're not part of it. You have to group. be a partner. Yeah. And oh, you have to be in 17 for that. Partner? Yeah. I have to be 17? Uh, yeah, 17. to become an actual partner. Uh, with, like, what? making money. 
Oh. Your uh, AdSense account uh, only works if you're above age above 17. That's it's always lying. Well, that's not true. Yeah, that's what I did. Lying. I lied about it. I've made like 13 cents, dude. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even make any money, and look at my, okay, basically, okay, wait a second, uh, if I just go to your watch YouTube, Yamin, watch Yamin, just see your videos, and just say, oh, no, you're lying, okay, no, um, uh, it's probably some legal thing that nobody kids is, gives a flying rat's bum about, so, probably. let's see, oh my god, you got 45 videos already, mm-hmm, yeah, y you upload every day, don't you, mm-hmm, that's great, um, so I can't see. <laughs> I can't see how many views you actually have, but I have something like a thousand. I have. People make me three dollars. Three hundred and thirty. But you also did that weird cheater thing where you can just randomly <laughs> click on yeah, your, but <laughs> your videos. It's so like four of your videos had three hundred views <laughs> and each. one, and it just stays on there. It's really weird. I just did a auto refresh, and it stayed on one of the three hundred and one, and I did that on like. Three videos. <laughs> Where does it say total? Total views? Uh, uh, it says that on your own account. Yeah, when you click your name, it says like subscribers, your views, and then your video oh. manager. Yeah, Chrome's you're oh, pretty yeah. high because I've seen some of your videos and they were pretty well seen. Yeah, well yeah. Seen. Like well uh, your Facebook. Uh, what was the one? Uh, Facebook. Um, right, birthdays. 170 views. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> on what? Your Facebook birthdays video? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is my, like, secondary account, too. My main account has 43,000 total. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. amazing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, you got one video on here that's got, what is it, like... Like 500? 600? Yeah. You my top one. viewed one has 600. We're no, my topic. my highest without a cheat is like something, like uh, eight uh, one hundred and eighty or something. Let me check that. It's well, um, one hundred and sixty-eight. I have the best number of all. What do you have? None, because I don't. I don't know YouTube. Oh, uh, <laughs> one hundred and eighty-eight. Yeah, yeah, one hundred and eighty-eight. Yeah, one hundred and eighty-eight. Yeah, one hundred and eighty-eight. Yeah, one hundred you don't. Or no, if you have a G plus account, you can still subscribe to people. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Um. Oh, I actually have YouTube, but nobody. <laughs> not many videos. You you don't upload anything. I just yeah, use the comments true. on stuff and then yeah. watch people get me down votes for no reason. <laughs> like Reddit does, <laughs> like Reddit does apparently. But yeah. YouTube comment sections are weird. Hmm. But um, in about two days in America, at least for you guys, a Central Force coming out. I have to wait uh, four more days after that, so I think I have to wait like six more days. I don't know. Um, Before that, we should talk about what games we're gonna get just in general. Besides yeah, let me Saints just uh, finish Central Four uh, subject first because Central Four, uh, first of all, is um, can't be played in Australia because it has the weapon called the Anal Probe in it. <laughs> and the government of Australia didn't like that name and banned the game. Wow. At least from uh, even... pu public view. So I think you can play it on your own computer, but it can't be, you know, like the game can't be uh, viewed in public. Can't uh, be purchased in public, can't be... Well, I think yeah. it might, might be uh, distributed, but you can obviously just buy it from uh, Steam. Yeah, um, Steam. <laughs> there is another thing about Saints Row 4. Uh, it's called the Super Dangerous World War Edition. There's a link. Yeah. Yeah. It um it costs one million dollars. Wait, 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 what? Like literally, wait, wait. it costs one million dollars. Yeah. yeah. It literally costs one million dollars because um, it you get a full sized replica of the dubstep gun. You get a full day of spy training, a trip to space with Virgin Galactic, which uh, costs, <laughs> it, that actually costs two hundred thousand uh, dollars on its own. Um, wow. A one-year membership of the E25 Supercar Club and the Lamborghini Gallardo to make it worthwhile, and you only get the Lamborghini Gallardo for a year. 
So you get it as a rental? Why? That's so dumb. Dude, you still get a Lamborghini for a year, though. Yeah. Right? Now, now, here's the good thing. I'm going to ask you some questions about this later. Plastic surgery of the purchaser's choice. They pay any plastic <laughs> surgery. <laughs> so, um, there, there's more on the list. Uh, you get a... Straight. <laughs> you get a My shopping spree straight. with a personal shopper to create the Ultimate Plant Saints capsule wardrobe. A seven nights for two at the Jefferson's Hotel in Washington. A horse's rescue, uh, rescue experience. A brand new Toyota Prius and insurers to give it some ba something back to the environment. And a seven night stay at the top royal suite in the Burai Elger Arhab, which is in, um, it's like the most expensive uh, hotel. It has like seven Michelin stars. It's, um, it's a pretty rad hotel. Jeez. It's pretty amazing. But it actually cost one million dollars. This is for Saints Row. How do you how do you purchase this? Because you, uh, you, know, you click the pre-order button, and you can, uh, you can pre-order. <laughs> well, obviously, we have for, a ton of rich kids watching us right now. Um, pre-order for one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, daddy, I got good hell? grades. I want this. Um, so apparently, uh, it's uh, you can buy it on game.co.uk. There's actually a proper down uh, link. Only one available, don't miss out, and it literally says one million dollars. But wow. what would you get from the plastic surgery? <laughs> what would we face. get? A yeah. pretty face, of course. A pretty you face. Yeah, a Lamborghini and uh, a pretty face. So I think you're, you're all set. I'm and you have the replica of that gun. Be more so specific. You can just like, yeah. Not just pretty face, but what exactly on your face you would change? <laughs> yeah. Do you want a zit or something? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like... Eye removal, that's so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, then you could wear an eye patch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, six dimples on each cheek. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. So, Rylan, what would you get? Hmm. I don't know. Plastic surgery my per personal choice. You know, I really haven't looked into plastic surgery too much to see what exactly you can get with plastic surgery. I mean, what can they... Like, like anything. I mean, what can they do? If I mean, is that just taller, changing can stuff? Taller. Or can they, they... I don't know, add stuff? They can yeah, literally they can add stuff. <laughs> <laughs> get a, I don't or know, like, a, you know, they can take away stuff too, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh. Like, you might not notice, but some women actually do a boob removal. It's it's really weird. I don't know why, but you know, okay, like, sometimes they're too big. Yeah, and then they got like weighted oh, down, cancer. and they get like um, oh, yeah, bad back, they get yeah, back problems or cancer. Yeah, cancer yeah. <laughs> or breast cancer. Yeah, yeah. but then so it won't the be the plastic Saints surgery and breast cancer. Oh no, you know, I've, I've always wondered what the point of uh, males having nipples are. So just get rid of those. <laughs> just they're they're pointless. What's the point? <laughs> what? Why do I need just them? get rid of this when you. There's a. I looked that up once actually. And, and everybody was saying it's because before your gender is like decided while you're being developed in your mom's yeah. womb, like flip coin. they like, well, you like have nipples. You have like both genders, and it could develop into either. So, sometimes, yeah. it, sometimes it goes wrong, and you have boobs and a penis. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's other stuff too. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, you can um, be more like masculine and just have. Really small. Boobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next subject. Next subject. Uh, we, let's go back to. Uh, okay. Oh, no, nah, let's not go back. Let's keep on going forward. Let's go. What games do you want to get? Like, games are coming out. Theoretically, if you can oh, get whatever, whatever uh, you want. Yeah, I, not money I, played, wise, just... I played Diablo 3 on the computer, and I only played the trial. But I definitely want to get, since Diablo is coming out on PS3 and Xbox 360, I definitely want to get it on the PS3 or the Xbox 360. Huh. That would be a weird experience, because obviously it's a point and click. So, you know, yeah, obviously you have the, um, the 1, 2, 3, and 4 button to activate your abilities. But I wonder how that will translate to the, to the controller. Hmm. Well, the, they'll figure a way to port it because think about how Minecraft ported from PC to you know Xbox. Yeah, it's true. So they'll find a way. They stripped yeah. down the code and they really completely redid it. 
I don't. I don't like the the controls on Minecraft or Xbox. You can't jump, look around, and move at the same time. Yeah. Well, you're really using a controller. Things. It's a controller. It's it's that's why they made PC games. Yeah. You. You're oh, more God. limited. You're more limited on Xbox. Just huh. if you're thinking of playing, try the phone version. You can't do anything on that. Cool. The phone version. You can't yeah. turn and look, you can turn and walk at the same Actually, time. Actually, there's coming out an XCOM game. Yeah, you can. On um XCOM? on the iPad. Yeah. XCOM. Uh, XCOM. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, X perfect. XCOM on the iPad. That's perfect, actually. That's easily done. You know, it, it will take a shit ton of memory of your iPad. I don't like playing yeah, well. games on an iPad. The I iPad, it just feels like it's too big. Maybe an iPad Mini, that'd be good size. When I play on an iPad, like, how's it too big? You're like, using like, a, like I, I played stream. Call of Duty Zombies, right, on my cousin's <laughs> iPad, and it's just so spread out. It just it feels really awkward. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. But actually, XCOM uh, Enemy Unknown came out on the um, on the iPhone as well. But that that just seems illogical because the iPhone is so small. But um. Mm -hmm. Well, because it comes out for iOS, so they have it on all devices. Right. Yeah. You know, there is, um, well, I kind of hate, I got this new MacBook Pro and everything, but apparently, like, normal apps, you see, like, Angry Birds are in the MacBook App Store as well, which is actually quite bugging me, because you see these, like, low-resolution games. They, um, they did a game of the, the new, um, what is that movie called? Despicable Me. No, no, no. It's a it's a car movie. Um, oh, Fast, Fast and, and Furious. Furious. Yeah, F Fast and Furious Six. I think that is the yeah. newest movie. Awesome. Yeah, they basically they uh, brought the mobile version to the computer and didn't enhance any of the physics at all. They didn't enhance the the menus, so everything looked big and the physics were awful. And that's and then you actually paid like ten times the 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 money for it just to get it bigger. You know, That's pretty dumb. Like, you know how Angry Birds, it first came out for, like, phones and stuff? Have you ever played it, yeah. Angry Birds on the computer? Or is that what you were talking about before? Because I mean, Oh, I, yeah, I, something like that. I, I've played Angry Birds on the computer before, and it just feels wrong. Because <laughs> yeah. I started, whenever I, I first heard of Angry Birds, and I first got Angry Birds, like, when it first started, it was on, you know, it was on your phones. It was, like, even before they really had iPads developed and stuff. You had it for, I had it for my, my iPod. And Angry Birds, you know, that's cool. It's, it's all small, packed, you get to use your finger. When it's on a computer, it's... I, I thought it was just wrong. It's awkward. It's dragon yeah. let go. It's like, this is supposed to be a and phone you can also thing. abuse why are, you, why are you putting well, this maybe, on Xbox? Maybe, maybe with the, the touchpad of an i... of an, uh, like a laptop, it will work. The new you might as well get it on a tablet. Right. Yeah, exactly. Laptops yeah. are a tablet, just two tablets together. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's that's not really right, but <laughs> there there is coming out a new uh, a new Angry Birds. This is actually pretty weird because there there's Angry Birds Star Wars one, and with any any uh, Angry Birds game like Angry Birds Seasons, it just gets more and more. And apparently they they had the idea to bring out a second Angry Birds uh, Star Wars, yeah, which a, is weird. There were some weird like you got Angry Birds yeah. Space, Angry Birds Rio, Angry Birds Seasons, Angry Birds Friends. It's like. Not really. It's like the old Angry, like the original here. Angry Birds, but with more birds. They got Star Wars Angry Birds. Actually, <laughs> I thought the Star Wars Angry Birds was fun because it had like the, uh, I don't know if you ever played it, but there was like little, I guess moons, so yeah, to say, moves and, and like, like the gravity would carry the birds but yeah, around. It's hard to explain. That that's what Angry Birds space as well. But in um, you know, in the newest Angry Birds, like the normal Angry Birds, there's water now as well. And uh, I think with Angry Birds Space, they're trying to bring it all together and they have to make a new engine for it. Um, so that's probably why there's coming out a new Angry Birds t Angry Birds 2. Um, I don't know. I, I basically so, stopped caring after the first one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I know, seriously. I don't really have... I only own a phone, so I don't really care about the games. You just own a, own a phone. <laughs> I just not never really like know. Angry Birds. Uh, well, yeah, Angry Birds... That. You live? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so jo yours just or Joe's. Joe's. Yeah. Brian Joe's. Oh. I think he dropped. Yeah. Or just died on us. Wait, who who's hosting? I'm hosting now. 
Okay, well, oh, if you're the BRB. one recording, you should be hosting. He says BRB. All right, well, we can go without him. Oh, We're yeah, just going to talk just about games. Keep continuing. Just move on. That was yeah. weird. Just... Yeah. Yeah, we'll go. Okay. Well, anyway, with Angry Birds, the thing that I hate now is that it is everywhere. Not only on mobile, it's on, like, beach towels. They're Angry Birds freaking <laughs> fruit <toys>. snacks. <laughs> uh, I hate the hoodies. Like, I, toys, I swear. Um, <laughs> and so, those uh, piggy banks, bird banks, I know they call them. Yeah. I don't know what just happened, but my, apparently my Skype crashed right now I'm on my laptop, which is actually pretty bad quality. So, um... It's fine. Yeah, well, I, I will go back to my uh, normal Skype again. Apparently it has, like, an update or something. So, uh... That's fine, that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next no, game. Yeah, I've actually seen some of those Angry Bird t-shirts, and I'm like... Uh, it's This is supposed to be a phone game. Oh. Why are you turning this into a t-shirt? They even made speakers for it. Yeah. Like, the speakers the like, got too much it deserved. The Angry got Birds much. merchandise. Like, candy in Japan and stuff. Yeah. Like, Anyways, even um, oops. It's, I'm only I'm uh, going to Angry stop Birds. talking about this because it's boring me. <laughs> the Angry, <laughs> I'm only Angry Birds toy shop and it's just the stuff they have. They have you know, apparel, accessories. If you want your Angry yeah. Birds eyewear, they have Angry Birds sunglasses. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Angry yeah. Bird umbrella. It's getting really ridiculous. But listen, they, they should make a lethal slingshot with a bird that's a pep, like a, a round bird Brock thing. And just make a slingshot out of it and make it so it can actually kill. They actually made a game. <laughs> Perfect idea, right? They actually made like a, a game of... Um, Basically, set up all these little pieces, and then you could shoot a, a bird off a leather slingshot. Yeah, I've seen that. If you want to have your Angry Birds party, you can get your cups and your plates and your banners and your tattoo pack. <laughs> mm. An Angry Birds tea party. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to talk um, about Angry Birds anymore. Okay, uh, Payday 2. How about that? Let's talk about that. Payday 2. That's actually it. pretty interesting since um, it supports like a shit ton of other stuff. Like it supports um, the new uh, Razer Fantrax or something. It's like a, a Wii mode, but it supports that. Oh, it's the Hydra. Yeah, the Hydra. It supports uh, the. Obviously, the Oculus Rift, <laughs> which is amazing. I want to get one of those. Mm -hmm. That seems so cool. Yeah. Yeah, and if you buy the Oculus Rift right now, you actually get the, the beta version, uh, the developer's version, and, and the one it's now. Yeah, I saw it when it was on Kickstarter. Yeah, I'm going to be just right back again. Just going to switch mics. Okay. All right. So does anybody so, yeah. know why they uh they switch they uh delayed the the day that it came out for payday two? Oh wow! Uh, Seriously, I wouldn't know. I would never. I didn't know when it come out. <laughs> uh, game I, scared. I don't game even is know what payday though. two is. Besides that, I just looked it's it up. a game where you're like these four criminals. It's a multiplayer game. You're these criminals and um. It, it, you have a range of things you have to do. You have to steal money from banks, make cocaine while cops are shooting at you, and you have to rob paintings. You just this huge, complex, right. not complex, That's like huge exactly amount of the uh, the type of game little kids should be playing nowadays. But, but oh yeah, it's totally. First I, I recommend it's running from cops yeah. while making. Cocaine. I recommend all your children play this game. Actually. And yeah. The funny thing about that game is that if you have the, the new uh, Alienware 13, I think it is, or the Alien Alienware 15, it's like a 15-inch laptop, it actually has lights on the side, and uh, in Payday 2, if you're good, if the, the cops don't notice you, if you're not there, if the heist hasn't started yet, the, the lights are green. And then uh, when it all goes bad, you put your, on your mask or the, the cops notice you or there's something wrong, the lights go red. So it actually supports a shit ton of hardware, which is pretty nice. And that one, you know, I don't know where, whether or not it will be useful in any kind of way. So <laughs> I'm on the Oculus Rift website. And I went to... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> like I, I went to the, the, the site, right? I clicked pre-order. And 
right here where you order it says you know products right there's a drop down bar and only got the regular oculus rift and there's a the, this was this was what i thought was weird right underneath it there's a little check box it says i understand this hardware is intended for developers and is not a consumer product because if you order now uh right. what you get right now is just the developer's version but why would you be allowed? I don't get this. Why it's a developer? So it says it's intended for developers. Yeah, but if that's, you're going to be developing just... it, why would you have to buy it yourself? And anyone could buy this thing. No, but you actually get the proper version as well. Right, but you're but, not, you're not you know, going to be doing you're any developing. If I got well, it, I well, wouldn't be doing no gonna developing. Make, think about like beta testing. You know, yeah. you you become you're basically paying for beta testing. Like it. Um, have you guys heard of the beta testing for uh, the Google Glass? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You had to you pay had to over a grand. And you actually had fly. to pick it up yourself as well. So you had to yeah. fly to, uh, to LA. Google. Yeah, LA. And yeah. then pick it up yourself. Yeah. You know. Uh, I don't understand why people would do that. It's a waste of money, in my opinion. Just wait, well, wait for the full product. It, it looks but, pretty cool. So. I know. Well, but I don't know. A lot yeah. of people get these type of things, but solely for the purpose of like bragging rights. Like, oh yeah, I'm a beta tester for Google Glass, you know? <laughs> I spent oh, yeah, a thousand I... bucks so I could yeah. be a beta tester for Google Glass. Some people are like that, you know? If they have the money to spend, they'll do it. You know, if I'm going to be a beta tester, it'd be one of those... If Like, I I've applied for beta testing, right, for games that I'm like, oh, this sounds cool. Yeah. But I'd never, go I'd never go out of my way to buy to be a beta tester. It'd be something that'd be like, okay, sure. We did mine. We did with Minecraft. Like that's yeah. that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's because well, Minecraft is with, easier. Easier, you know. Don't you guys just download like iOS seven is coming out somewhere next year, but uh, there's already already a developer's version. Yeah. My, don't you guys download that? I don't have it, but I, my three my phone actually doesn't uh, isn't capable compatible. But my I got other because friends. it's too old. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's the three GS, but it only supports four and up. But I don't know, like three of my friends, they all, we all had like a big end of the year sleepover party thing. And mm -hmm. they all went and downloaded it for their phones. And I mean, it seems really cool. But Yeah, it, it looks kind of cartoony. Yeah. So, um, to me, it, it seems like they took a lot of Android's sort of ideas and implemented them into the new iOS. Well, yeah. they still won't allow porn on their uh, app store. So. No, and... What's hilarious is that uh, Apple sued Samsung because they, in quote, stole their technology. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I didn't, oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, have you guys heard of that? Thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I've heard a lot of lawsuits, so I don't know. Well, that, that, what happened <laughs> after they sued, uh, Apple sued Samsung, right? And they said, oh, you guys got to pay us um, $5 million, right? So they drove Samsung. They drove over five million dollars worth of nickels. Oh yeah, office. I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because technically that's legal tender. Jeez. You know, yeah. and oh, Apple God. didn't specify how they wanted to be paid. They're just like, oh yeah, we, we want five million dollars from you guys. Oh. So okay, they're just five trolling. million bucks worth of nickels. So they just trolled them. <laughs> Basically, really hard. That's awesome. Well, have you guys seen the new uh, Mac Pro? Uh, is it the white one? Uh, it's um no it's it's like a little black like garbage bin. What? Just look it up. The the <laughs> new Mac Pro. It it really looks like a garbage bin. Oh, I will put a picture up okay. into the video. Yeah, I, I'm on the the website or I looked it up I googled it. Yeah. That looks weird. Yeah, oh. it looks really weird. It, it's just like a garbage bin. I was talking to my dad about this earlier, that if he would put it in a kitchen, people would just put, like, water in it and just see if the water goes boiling. It's got a friggin' Seriously. intro for it. It's like an animated intro. Yeah, just, which you probably can't run, can you? Which is probably not showing you what the hell it actually is. If it's animated. Um, well, uh, you can see inside if you go to the fourth tab. It has like seems pretty cool though. Yeah, you know. Does it have two the, processors? Um, uh, twelve core processing up to. It looks like there's two um. Two uh, cooler mounts for processors. If you look at the third picture. 
Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. They have d dual GPU standard. And oh, it these actually, are graphics cards. All right. Yeah, and it's a uh, it's a little bit small. Well, it's it's like half the size of the uh, the other one. They just um, I watched the entire um, Apple, uh, you know, where the press comes up. Mm -hmm. Apple press That's conference. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but I watched it, and right at the end, like on the last five minutes, they just grabbed the old Apple Mac Pro and they grabbed a new one and put them together. And we didn't know how big it was until we saw that, and that thing is like half the size. Now, funny thing, there is no Ethernet connection. There's no Ethernet connector on that thing. So there's there's six FireWire. So you need to buy a separate co uh, connector from Apple itself to actually be able to plug it into the internet. Uh huh. Yeah. Now I have to say, Apple's wireless things are pretty good. Like they're pretty, pretty decent. The wireless connectors, but yeah, but I'd still prefer wired. Yeah. Hey guys, unfortunately I have to go. So. All right. I hope you have fun with the rest of your podcast. But yeah. Great. <laughs> I'll see Great. you guys later. Mm -hmm. See you. All right. Later, man. All right. Oh, I have two two new games to discuss about. Um, Stone Hearth and uh, Interstellar Marines. Jeez, see, all these games you're naming off, never even heard of. Let me bring up a game. Oh, Star Wars my. Battlefront 3. Okay. Star Wars um, Battlefront 3. I'm not yeah. a big fan of Star one. Wars games, except Lego Star Wars. Those are Lego Star Wars is yeah. fun, too. Lego Star Wars yeah. is stupid. But Star Wars I mean, Battlefront 2 and 1 was like from... Uh, they from like the old days, they're really old, and then um, like Star Wars Battlefront Three has been announced like three times already, and it uh, got just like got shut down every time. Now finally, um, EA is gonna make it with the Frostbite engine. Oh God, EA! Well, uh, actually, EA is gonna publish it, but Dice is gonna make it. So the makers of Battlefield. Are actually going to make Star Wars uh, three? Hmm. That'll be interesting. Yeah, well, it it looks amazing. I saw the um, the press conference okay. of uh, EA as well. So I got two things. One, I want to say a game, but okay, this Stone Hearth game reminds me like yeah. I googled it. It looks. It reminds me so much of Cube World. Yeah, it looks a lot like Cube World, but it's very. It's. I, I sent you guys a link to the Steam thing. Yeah, it's on green light right now. It's like, it's really. I think this game is really nice. It's gonna it be really it nice. looks. It looks like a, um, a, you know, like a mixture of uh, Cube World, and uh, that game the Narek B played. Where are you based? Uh, let me look that up. Actually, you're constru you're basically constructing every single thing in your whole empire or your castle or wherever you want. You're making everything. Oh, there was just. Bit. And game villagers I, are I actually applied for a beta. Uh, let's see if I can find it in my history. Uh, it was... Or I'll just talk to see if I find it. But the game I want to get besides Saints Row 4 is Watch Dogs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I yeah. Saw I saw that way back. That game looks crazy good. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. You know, the first thing I heard when, when I heard the title, I heard Watch Dogs, I instantly thought of Sleeping Dogs. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it has any connection. It probably won't. No, I don't think so. But, um... No, the wa Watch Dogs, I watched so many, like, review or not reviews, but I watched so much uh, trailers Gameplay? and whatnot. Um, uh -huh. The fact that, what sounds cool about it, is one, it's the multiplayer where you can just randomly join into one of your friend's games and start messing with them. Like you can, <laughs> you can, you can yeah. go around and mess with them. And, they're still supposed to, and then they can like try to find you out. And you can take their money. Like I could join someone else's game if I knew who they were. I could try to take their money. They'd realize that I took their money. Then they'd have to try to find me. Yeah. I mean, for them. And they, um, the fact that you're going to get like a app, that there's going to be like an app for your phones. Where if you're in game, you can call for help, and it's like oh, if someone's on it'll the app, search. Yeah, yeah, that's and, that's and like, amazing. If I'm on my phone, I can be like, oh sure, let me just put a helicopter over here for you. Or that's like, crazy. Blackout. Yeah. Uh -huh. When they premiered at E3, um, they uh, 
they had the players like so on the console they had them call for help right and then they had one of their other people on the ipad shutting like you get like a map of the city right and you could see where mm -hmm. the player is and you can cause a blackout stuff like that yeah i saw that who needs that we really use cool. anymore like wii u you were way behind we use touch pads now no no game pads okay yeah the other game that sounds fun i think this i think this, this is you told me about this uh Josh, is the quest for Mighty Epic Loot, or the Mighty yeah. Quest for Epic Loot? the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Yeah, you told me about this. This game yeah. looks cool. The Mighty Quest yeah. for Epic Loot. <laughs> yeah, basically what it is, uh, you have your castle somewhere in the sky, and you basically have Epic Loot in there. Now, it's it's this very, very comical, very funny game, and uh, it's the in name. beta right now. The name's a, a quote from somewhere, I know it's, it's it, the name's a quote from somewhere. It has yeah, to be. It's, it's full of quotes. <laughs> um... But basically what you do, it's like a tower defense game, but you actually, when you attack a castle, you play it as like a uh, Dota or a uh, LoL or uh, Diablo 3. So it's like a point and click with abilities. Oh, man. And then you can basically, <laughs> as defense, you can set up things. And that's just all like offline, of course. It's basically like a phone game, but then... You know, it kind of reminded me of uh, the game Castle Crashers for... Like uh, Android and Apple devices, well, I never was a big fan of it. But what you could do is you set up your for Castle Crashes. What you do is you set up your your base. You could set up your your t your defenses, like your Archer Tower, your Wizard Tower, your uh, cannons and whatnot. And then people can just attack you, which kind of seems like in this game you can set up your defense and to get for your treasure room. You you got your your enemies or and your traps that you set up for when people just come and attack you. Yeah. And you can um, you can be very social as well. You can basically leave comments about the castle if you conquered it or not. Of course, there's going to be some wrong things happening with that, as we saw with YouTube, as we saw with Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And of course, um, when this game comes out, you're going to want to get it fast. If you're going to play it, you're going to want to get it soon, because if you join in late, people are going to already have nice special castles with punch of... Really good traps. You're gonna be joining in there as a little noob with uh, very uh, basic. Stuff. Oh, that that actually reminds me of um, Battlefield Three. EA brought out a um, brought out a DLC, which basically unlocks everything in the game. Right, I heard about that. Yeah. What the fuck are they talking? <laughs> so basically, what you're gonna get is like pro players, which basically have everything, every good weapon, everything. Then you're gonna have newbies, which basically pay like 40 bucks more for the game but have every god like weapon in the game so they're pretty good so as well so what you're saying just... is it's pay to win mm -hmm. yeah and then you have the newbies who don't pay that 60 dollars or 40 dollars extra and they suck and they will ki be in killed instantly because they don't have those weapons they'll just be there with a 911 just shooting and you let the guys shooting with the ak-47 or something like that it's, yeah, it's games crazy. Like, games like CS:GO, they balance that. Yeah. So they, they, it's you win the money. You start out with nothing in the server, then you get money while winning matches. And what games need to do is they need to. I mean, the fact that they they can't do this, but like, say I'm playing my game, right? I start. I just join in. The game's been going on for a while. There's a bunch of really high level people. The high level people should only be able to play with the high level people. While the low-level people can only play with the low-level people. Oh, that's that's what's happening with uh, the Mighty yeah, Quest and Epic Loot. Yeah, but that, that requires ex extra servers for you. Need, you need to have servers that are dedicated to high-level well, people. Basically, with extra basi servers. yeah. Basically, what you do is every time you win, you re you rise up some more. I don't know how, but you you get more weight because of gold. But apparently, that rises you up. It's kind of illogical. But um, that raises you up higher, and the higher you go, how higher the level is. And basically, how to choose your enemy, you can stand there on your plateau. You can basically look around what's around you, and how higher up it goes, how harder the people are, and if it's like at the same level, you know. It, it's like that. It's very, very interesting. Seems like a um, fun game, though. Yeah, it seems like a fun game. It's in closed beta right now. It, I, I haven't heard the official release now yet but um seems like an interesting game um now let's actually think about the the group name right 
Because we hasn't, haven't uh, got one yet. You know, Minecraft, or not necessarily just Minecraft, but these kind of names, they mm -hmm. always seem to be like, I don't know, two words. Monster Tech. Mind Crack. Right, and I, I could it's not name other, but it always seems like it's it's like a two part thing, but yeah. put into one name. Well, I I think we shouldn't really relate it all that much to YouTube be, or uh, to to Minecraft because we're not just guys who play to get Minecraft together. I think yeah, we're we're a true. community, so that's true. What's going on, people? If a bunch of us got Watch Dogs, or just any game that has a big multiplayer function, it'd be so fun yeah. to play with each other. I mean, if I played mo wa if I got Watch Dogs, I'm planning on getting it. And if I know some of you yeah. guys have it, I would definitely try to take your money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Watch Dogs. Uh, I'm going to Google that, or I'm going to search that Steam. As you should probably add each other on Steam. A, a very That's funny, uh, Steam a friends. very <laughs> smart idea. We're not even Steam <laughs> friends. Okay, yeah. so I searched up Watch Dogs and got Prison Tycoon. Okay, no. Oh, wow. Did you seriously get Prison Tycoon? When Prison I searched it up. Okay, Prison Tycoon is a good boring. Game. Oh, it is. Um, no, it's good. Um, I played it for a bit. It's, it's actually quite fun to play. Um, it's is much this game better. On Steam? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Watchmen, The Hammer Watch, Magica, The Watchtower, Pocket. <sighs> <laughs> Not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, let's see. Oh, what about Armor 3? Armor 3? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's Armor 3 Beta, that's, that game is freaking... I don't if it has like the Arma. same function as Armor 2. Well, Armor 2 uh, Sandbox stuff was, was there. amazing. Yeah, there... Once I get my computer to a state where I can actually play the game, I will definitely be playing that a lot. Yeah, it, because it, it, I freaking love military games that are not like Call of Duty that don't just that are not the same thing. This it's this is the first yeah. ever military game that takes skill. I don't to win. really like those kind of games. Not like Call of Duty where you run in and get yeah, I hate those. Or shoot yeah. other people. So, um, like three days ago, a, a new free game came up to uh, Steam. It's it's called War Thunder, and basically it's like a. War Thunder, um, yeah. It's it's a combat flight simulator kind of thing, but it has like arcade games and you can choose the realisticness, uh, and it's like a, an MMO, which is pretty amazing. It's the, an MMO. It's free also. Flight. Yeah. It's also free, which is like even the, more the quality of free games. You know, like five years ago, it would have been something like Farmville. <laughs> the free games <laughs> back then were really bad. Oh. Uh, Sometimes I still play them. Like, we still play on OMG Pop. Yeah, OMG Pop is a fun site. I love oh, yeah. playing yeah, old I games. Yeah, I play those mini games. Only thing is that Rovio bought OMG Pop, and they're going to shut the website down. No way. Yeah, they're going to well, shut I, it down. Okay, so I, I, we're going to buy your game and then shut it down. Let's actually oh, see OMG Pop. Okay, I will actually go to the more information page by Zynga, but um, it says uh, to all omgpop.com uh, omg players, our goal at Zynga is to give players the opportunity to play the most fun and social games. Now, they're, they're talking about an opportunity here. Now, listen to how the rest of the letter goes. It's really weird. Um, the most fun and social games on mobile and web. With this goal in mind, we have decided to close omgpop.com. How the hell would that advance the... Because <laughs> they're going to make it a site you actually have to pay for. I don't well, know. Watch well, it die. Watch it just die. Because the you official, get to pay for unofficial it. OMG Pop forums. Yeah, they're going to make a way for new and exciting gaming opportunities. Well, why won't you just bring out new games on omgpop.com? Mm, I don't know. There's there's so many different things, like variables that why they're doing that, but they can do them. I don't want to go to Rovio because then I have an account on Farmville too, and then I have an account on Cafe Racer and that kind of shit. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It's it's awful. Aren't those all Facebook games? Yeah. 
Zynga is uh, part of Facebook. Well, they're not part of Facebook, today, but they do have a deal with them. And uh, you can play them on yeah. Facebook and then make use of Facebook um, in all their uh, games. I don't like Facebook. I don't like Facebook games, but I especially don't like Facebook. I lost I faith in Facebook. I hate Facebook. Why is like, that? Why? Oh, I don't know. Just children posting porn on there and then them rating it like it's nothing when it's disgusting oh, or something like that. I guess. That happens a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I know it happens a lot. I, I've never had a run-in with that experience, so... With Me and neither. I, only, like, when I, used, I deleted my Facebook like a, a while back, but when I did have a Facebook, um, I only was friends with people I actually knew in real life. Like, not actual friends in real life, but... I, I knew who everyone was on my friends list. Right. Oh, well, the, the, the thing with Facebook it is, is it it's designed for show off. So like after a year, you get annoyed of it because you know like people are just showing off. That's the only thing Facebook does. Facebook, I thought was cool in the beginning, but I don't know. I mean, it it was like the thing to do, like. When Facebook first came out, especially for I'm a younger individual, especially because I when it came out, I was in middle school, and when you were in middle school, it was like, oh, all the cool kids had Facebooks. So everyone wanted a Facebook. Everyone wanted to have the most friends on Facebook. Well, it's the same with my. I have I hate Facebook, and I have more friends than everybody that wants friends. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> well, that's you have. Oh, let me see. Where? How do I check? <laughs> Like, 10 years ago, that was happening with MSN. Like, everybody uses that. Used that. They're not using it now. Maybe some individual. But, like, everybody used to use MSN. Yeah. And I have no idea what happened to that. Hmm. Microsoft Mail something. Hold on, how do I check my friends list? <laughs> About I don't know. 125 friends, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. You know... And everybody else has like 60. For a guy, that's a good amount of... That's that's a lot of friends. For a girl, 1,000 would fit. 1,000 would fit. I actually <laughs> I know, know girls that have 1,000 I don't know how many... Friends. I, I know girls exactly. that have no life on Facebook, so I'm not sure. And I have like... Is, over 700 or something? Jeez, the thing is... If I had a Facebook and I had a thousand friends, how many of them do you think you actually know? I don't think I could be None friends really. with. Like, I don't even know if I could say, okay, sure, I I know that person. A thousand different people be like, yeah, I know who that person is. Oh yeah, and then like you get this one person who goes to the One Direction page and like is totally oh, a fan yeah. of One Direction and just likes everything, likes and it everything, and, and then it, it shows your Facebook. Up. And then it floods yeah. your Facebook page with, oh my god, I like the really gay band, oh my god. Ah. It's so annoying. And then, like, people do, like, if you type like and hit that like button and type this, this will happen. And yeah. I just see my sister doing that's that, and I Roblox think, Roblox stuff, you're dude. So, you're such I can't an believe idiot. That's, I can't believe that's spread to, from Roblox to Facebook. It's hilarious. And it's, Roblox, they say, spam this in five pages, you win a free hats or something like that. And yeah, well, but actually, it's just a children. picture, which is blurred, and then they say, like this picture and type this, then it doesn't get blurred anymore. Or what about and it doesn't a work. guy next to a shark in the ocean saying, click like. Or, see what then, happens. And then and, then, and write this thing in the comments. See what happens. Nothing happens. Exactly, and nothing happens, and I see my sister doing it all the time. What about Happy Wheels? Happy Wheels is just became bullcrap. They need to buy me new servers. Rate five, and you can get a glitch. <laughs> five for this glitch to work. Happy Rate five, Wheels. destroy the party. Yeah, but Happy Wheels isn't playable anymore since there's so many maps online that just the loading of it takes like half an hour. It's ridiculous. Well, for me at least, oh, it's, no. it's ridiculous. Happy Wheels. I was never a really big fan of Happy Wheels. Tobuscus ruined it. Game. Tobuscus ruined it, I think. You know what I'll I tell you right now, <laughs> the, the levels are just constant ripoffs. And. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, just too much. 
it was just overkill, and the way he records it as well. Um, now I do have to say that I don't, uh, I do not um, dislike him, but I do not just do not like him. Um, but the way he records it, he just mass records it for one day and just cuts it in like pieces of ten minutes, and it's it's so bad. Yeah, what, what YouTuber? Uh, to bust bust you. You know, yeah, you started playing Roblox, and um, I don't know how fucking stupid you can be to start playing Roblox. There's a lot of um, this isn't ah. really compared to the same subject, but there's there's a lot of YouTubers that are very very popular, famous YouTubers that I don't really see how they do it. How, I mean, how they're that. Like, if I watch the videos, and I'm like, okay, this guy has a million views on his video. I didn't see what's so special about it, right? Yeah, Musk that's gets, what I feel, too. Musk gets millions of views, or I don't know if he gets millions, but he gets a lot of views. And all he does is, he plays 10 minutes of Happy Wheels, and you get 50,000 views. Yeah. Do you know, views. do you know Jenna Marbles? No. I do. I heard of her in her senior videos. Yeah, she's like the biggest slut of the whole YouTube community. She has over um, 10 million subscribers now. It's crazy. You serious? You, you, yeah, the subscriber, the scrub, subscriber amount just increases. Like, um, a Smosh was the first one is earlier she going this to, year. Is she going to beat PewDiePie or anything? Cause no, no, no. I, I don't like PewDiePie. PewDiePie is now the, the top, yeah. Yeah, he's but, um, number one right now. Yeah. I know, but it, it, will Jenna Marbles like, beat him soon? Well, uh, no, I don't think so because Jenna Marbles just hit it, and like uh, PewDiePie oh, is like no. eleven. Yeah, 13. and he did it in like three years. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Jenna Marbles is there for uh, six years now, but uh, let's talk about the subject. Is Jenna Marbles some uh, girl that's just really shows her tits and everything, and has these horny five-year-old, ten-year-olds go, "Oh my god, oh my god," and maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, then again, there's a lot of. I have no idea who this person that. is, so I'm just gonna, yeah. I mean. Back Female to PewDiePie, so I don't really think he's all that bad of a YouTuber. Really, I mean, he's got 11 subscribers. He's he has his, <laughs> he's he's kind of funny. I I think yeah, he's kind of funny. I think he has he has a great moments. personality, but yeah. like his his Wait, his who? videos. I just don't watch half of his videos because they're horror horror games, and I don't like him horror games. <laughs> it depends. Yeah. Or he plays he, he he plays he plays Minecraft, doesn't he? Sometimes. Nah, I, he he knows what oh. it is, but he doesn't play it. Uh, recently, he he, he plays um, he, right now he plays something like Pud gets Wi-Fi, which is like oh, that's still awesome. a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's absolutely <laughs> crazy. It's like Pokemon like, with the combat. <laughs> well, this little dog, and she just uh, it's it's written out, <laughs> so everything is written out. You just see this eight-bit game, but all the all the text is written out, and basically this dog. Is behind the computer all day, and just every type, every text is like in computer language, not in, not in binary, but like in um in the Why internet you language. Why like, you do yeah, user like that. Like, <laughs> exactly. Speak, not to speak. Like, and then, then she sometimes has her moments, which is so weird. But oh, I remember. You ever seen the part where he asked why she carries the laptop around? And he's like, "Well, I'm a lap dog," and I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like this," slow clap. It's so weird. I'm discussing yeah. a really retarded game, but it's just it's hilarious. Oh yeah, Milby's channel actually got taken down uh, because yeah. he, what happened yeah, to that? Uh, basically, uh, there was this episode of Kataba Shoujo, which means um, what does that mean? Um, crippled girls. That's literally what it means. It's like this dating simulator, and there was some kind of sexy scene, and he didn't <laughs> completely block off one tit. And then oh. he got flagged for that, and his um, yeah, and he has like sixty episodes of his too. But like on this one episode, this this one second, this, this side boob was showing, and apparently oh. he got flagged for that. And um, his his uh, community is it just a crap ton of trolls just attacking him? No, yeah. no, no, not even that. But it was just a misclick by his um, uh, like machinima, but then. You know, like a big company like Polaris or Machinima. I don't know where he is, but um, that they basically just said that he was right, 
uh, he shouldn't get sued for that or anything. Uh, but they missed clicks, and he lost his channel for like five days. And um, now he's back. He got his channel back after some hassle, and um, yeah. that's really stupid. But what do you guys think of um, videos um, like this? Vine videos. Oh my god. Ugh, Vine videos. Oh my fucking god. The uh, bane of every retarded teenager's existence. existence. With that big black guy, the big black girl sitting on the toilet. That's all she's saying. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the that, toilet. That, 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 that's apparently gold. Golden material right there. <laughs> some videos are funny as hell, but some are just racist or some are just stupid. Well, and but most of them that are racist are actually racist by, by, you know, like the, the, the people. I know they're just joking, and I'm not, I don't want to start a huge freaking, oh my god, it's racist thing, but. It's yeah. like, um, it was. videos like, oh my god, what's that? And then just like this, this, you see this girl twerking, and then he, he I hate just, those videos. He just stupid. throws him away. Uh, throws the girl away, and there's like this piece of chicken on the floor, and he's like, "Oh my god, look <laughs> at that!" And he he just pushes that girl away. You see, like this this girl just twerking on the camera. He pushes that girl away, and just goes on the floor, <laughs> lies on the floor, and the just chicken. starts eating the chicken. Oh, I saw that. What about the one where that guy just kicks the ball, with the, and the little toddler goes runs after you, say, "Want to play ball? Want to play soccer?" And the kid's like, "Yeah!" And he says, "Go get it!" Kicks it like <laughs> miles away, and then the kid he just runs away. The dad just runs away. It's hilarious. Yeah, Vi I don't even know. Like, the Will Sasso is pretty amazing. Like, the lemon videos and everything. Will Sasso is genius, but, like, some of them are just bad. Do you um, guys know who Bill O'Reilly is? No. Mm -mm. Some guy on Fox? Yeah. He is um, a very big political speaker. More of the controvers controversial side of things. Like... He's more directed towards not necessarily what, like, he, he argues all points on, like, certain things. Like, um, like, something Obama says, right, he tends to think more towards, I don't even know how this is related to anything you guys are talking about, but I just popped this into my head, because I didn't know if you knew who he was or not, because I really like the guy, but a lot of people don't like Epic what he says. Epic rap battles of history made well, it look a like a douchebag. A lot of people don't like what he says, because it's very negative and against what Did Obama says to the public. Like, Obama will say, okay, we're not spying on you. Bill O'Reilly goes... All out. They're lying. On he goes. Wh why? He's lying. Why he's not? And he and he has proof and points and plenty of factual evidence on why what he's saying is wrong. And I love him because he he doesn't just listen to what you say, but he has proof and ton of facts on on why what you're saying is not what he thinks is right. That makes That's, sense. It's pretty, yeah, pretty controversial stuff, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But Alec, you said something about uh, epic rap battles of history. Yes, I don't like them. That is created by Nice Peter. I have to his say that cartoons are t bad, but the I I missed his concert. He uh, he was in Amsterdam three days ago. I totally forgot. The tickets were like four dollars for Nice oh, Peter. God. That's made. I should have gone there, gotten there, but I didn't. Oh, well, <sighs> I don't like it's, him. Well, no, you, I don't like him. Most of them. I think, no, he's, I, I think, think it's he's just right. weird. I think it's overkill. I think they're trying too hard. Well, but no, that's with epic rap battles of history. But some of his picture songs are pretty amazing. Like his picture songs are pretty good. Mm, maybe. Um, I I wouldn't know. No, <laughs> we're not fans, obviously. Yeah. But um, well, hmm. yeah. Have you guys um, heard of uh, YTF? So YTF. like the people, the people that used to be on top on YouTube, um, like Nigahiga, Kev Jumba, the old oh. YouTubers. Oh, these guys, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, YTF yeah. Legacy is that? Yeah. What's it yeah. called? Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, is it like a community? Yeah. Uh, it's like a group that some of the top U- YouTubers put together, and like they do concerts and stuff. Oh, like um, what's that dude called again? Um, Which one? You make songs there. Uh, fourth one on their uh, main page. Chester. Chester She. Yeah, he's pretty good. He just came out with a song with the Buscus and uh, some other dude. Yeah. Whistle while I work it. That song's pretty good. Yeah, I um, I met all of them. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Um, my crew, cause um, I I had a dance crew, and mm-hmm. we opened up for their concert uh, last April. That's pretty amazing. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, now this this might come off a little bit racist, but yeah. Okay, most of them are Asian. Yeah. Why? Why would that be? Uh, Is that? I, I don't know. I, <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, they, just because doesn't have to have reason. I mean, they got like what two white people? Yeah, and looks then, like uh, it. one Hispanic person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> can't, okay. can't wait for the troll. Can't wait for the trolls to comment on that. Probably shouldn't have said that. So you really, like, your group, your dance group really opened up for their show? Yeah. Dead serious. You guys, like, good? You're, like, really pro? I'm not, I'm not saying you suck or anything, but you're, like... Well, if they would open for YGS, it's pretty amazing, right? Because you had to uh, submit a video to them because um, oh. they had, like, an open call, and then they had to screen all the videos, and then they would pick who they would want, and they would pick two people um, to open up for their uh concert that's that's amazing yeah, that is yeah really here cool. um I, i'll link you guys okay oh, we'll put a link in the the bottom of the description of the podcast yeah. so, this whole time this i've been talking I'm, this whole time i've been talking i'm trying to get a freaking idea of what our group name will be i know i've been thinking about it too and, I just <laughs> and it's it's been frustrating I'm, I'm, maybe we should have tech at the end of it i don't know um okay. so Chrome, you're in the middle to the, so, uh, to the right. So you're the from the middle three persons. You're the furthest right. Middle, right. Uh, like the um, in the middle center. Of the okay. Um. Yeah. Wait. In like the first second. Uh, um. The group of four, I think it is. Yeah, because the video's kind of at an angle. Um, I'm the one with the scarf, if you can tell. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, censored. Yeah. And at then the, right. at the very beginning, there's a girl. Is that a girl ducked down in front of you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna see these pictures now. I'm kidding. <laughs> Rev Gen YTF Anthem. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty loud. Which one's you? The one with the scarf. There's like I a white see. thing around. My neck. Just, uh, just go to the first second, and then uh, there's a girl uh, Hold up. in front of him. <laughs> so, oh wow, this is pretty amazing. I see. Why TF? Are they? Um, I don't know. Is it weird talking to people like that? Say what? <clears throat> like, you know, when you always think about what you would say to like those kind of famous people if you ever got to meet them is it kind of awkward you're like wow they're actually right here and it's uh i don't know because i mean i'm i've met a lot of like famous dancers too so it i mean it was kind of a big deal with me i I did take pictures with all of them i can i can link you guys an album that off our fan page but uh i mean they're really chill because we got to hang out with them the whole day that's pretty (laughs) yeah pretty rod yeah you know, I once um, we have this uh, this lady. She's like in their sixties now. She's uh-huh. um, uh, what is her name again? Okay, let me just look it up real quick. A uh, uh, Cory Konings. That's that's what she's called. And she she brought out these really uh, weird songs, uh, like it, it way before my time, and. Um, so every year with my radio show, it's not my radio show. I I do I make the music for it and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we have this uh, Christmas concert, right. and we we have like five to seven artists. 
And then we got that that person uh, called Garnings. And um, she costs actually quite a lot. It's like 200000 for half an hour. It's really weird. What? Not okay. 20, it's probably, yeah, probably like 20000 not 200000 But um, it's, it's really much. But she was there and, you know, nobody said anything to her. They were like, okay, right. I, I will just ignore her. She will perform. Uh -huh. And then, okay, I will stand back and enjoy. Which is it's pretty weird because you I think you shouldn't approach artists like that. Uh, because I don't think the artist likes it itself. You know, if you just ignore them and they they'll do their act. Yeah, right. you, you never really know. I mean so say I, I got famous for doing something and people are like, Ooh, you gotta talk to them and then you know, you're in a position where they think that you're something special and all all you're doing is just doing what you regular do with a regular day basis so really you're not doing anything special but they think you're doing something special so it for you to talk to them it's not awkward for you you think it's yeah. just normal you're just talking to it's like you're talking to a regular person but yeah. for them they think you're really something special so they're all getting worked up over oh my god he's talking to me and mm -hmm. I, bet I think i bet that's kind of the position that they get into is they're like Okay, I'm just trying to have a regular conversation with somebody, and they're getting all, "Oh my God, can I take your picture? Can I get a picture with you?" And you're just like, "Yeah, okay, sure." Yeah, yeah. I no, think I've, that I've that's been in both sides, both sides of the situation. Yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty nice. You know, I only have persons stepping to me asking if they can buy tickets for the Tribune. Like today, I was at a um, a festival of you know, like little carts with flowers on them, uh -huh. and. Uh, we we were there with a the radio station. Uh, I've worked since Thursday. I've set everything up and hooked it up and everything. But today there were like twenty people asking to me where they could buy tickets for the for the main stage where they can sit. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. We sit there as a radio station and just no, oh, we just talk right through their broadcast. And um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever been on a radio station, but that's that's pretty. I've never seen them. <laughs> uh, not radio. I've been on TV before. Uh, I had a friend that was on TV, and I guess I was. I, I think I was quoted. I don't know. This is years ago, but <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, t TV is quite quite a big difference. You know, we doesn't just really, sit. doesn't really matter, anyways. But no, I've been in the newspaper before. I was too, no, I think. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> your, your swimming license. <laughs> no, I, I got it. Right for... with the age of three, just got his swimming license. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just uh, in New York Times. I got, I got in a <laughs> champion, championship football game. I caught an interception, which led us to the win, to win the game, and that's what got me in the newspaper. So was it a legal I interception? Like no, just a, just a regular, you know. Just a, it so, was I mean, it's nothing special, out but that's the only time I've ever actually had anything like that happen to me. Right. So, like, I'm like, oh my god, guys, I'm, I'm so cool. You guys should all be my friends because I caught this. I'm in the newspaper. It's just like, okay. That's all. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying, that's all that's ever happened to me. Mm -hmm. That's. I think another thought for a name would be ending with tech. Just... To keep the flow going, we should have the name added with tech on it. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. But why did Zess include tech anyways? I don't even know how he came up with the name yeah. Mr. Tech. That's like because we we don't do anything. Sounds with a lot like those those Brad stalls. I'm pretty sure there is where they use the word monster tech, and that threw me off thinking this Zess was an insane. No, I don't know, we need we need to think of something that the whole group overall likes to do. I mean, we're all pretty much we all know each other through games. What's a really what's right. a really cool? Yeah, most of us. How what's what's a really cool like 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 a cool saying or a cool a cool quote even? I don't even care a quote even. Just don't say swag. <laughs> you seriously? No. Swag tech, you little. <laughs> I'll slap the shit out of you. <laughs> no. Go I will officially quit. 
Go back in the corner, you moron. <laughs> Swag tag. Just YOLO tag, YOLO tag. <laughs> hashtag YOLO tag. YOLO tag would work. <laughs> YOLO tag might work, but um... No, it needs to have just, a hashtag. Just, and then, then if we grow up, it will be goatee tag. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, I can't see what we're doing because... I don't know if I'm gonna show any of this visual, but... I mean, I might as well. It's not like I really do anything secretive, but... Yeah, by the way, Ryan, you need to send the audio from your recording to me, because... Okay. I'll mine, mine it's in two parts, up. because when this, the call dropped, it right. cut the recording. Oh, yeah, that's that's fine. Can you guys hear music like, in the background, by, all, by any chance? No. No, no, no. no. Slight. No. Well... Slightly. Maybe, I don't know. By the way, Alec and Ryan, you both, um... You both saw the, um... Chase and Status concert. Well, I know Alec saw the whole thing. I saw, right, actually, yeah. I started off seeing... Where was, that? Where was that in, by the way? Uh, it was in Lowlands. That's a festival in Holland. Pretty oh, I see. So it's like Dutch. But, yeah, know. well, it's it's not a Dutch music group, so it's it's British, but... I saw uh, I saw the part of the uh, the ending of the live. It was Dutch, that, kind of. And then oh, I, yeah, I with... Uh, yeah, it's great. Saw Imagine Dragons, because I'm, really, I'm a fan of their... Their songs. I like one song of them. The other is not really. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, uh, Fallout Boy is there, and that's going to be a broadcast on YouTube as well. Ah. So I might go ahead and look at Fallout Boy tomorrow. Don't know if they're any good. I don't, know. I don't really. My old middle school music. I don't know if I like too much <laughs> like live concerts because I'm used to listening to music on my phone or Pandora. Or whatnot, and it's so all recorded. all that. It's all in a studio, you know, multiple takes and whatnot. So it's all like you know, four you guitars like, instead you of one. Your, yeah, your synthesizers. You got all of your extra not perfect. extra stuff to make it sound super nice. And then you go to the live concert, and it's all beat matching. It, it does. Yeah, it doesn't seem as good. Well, I mean, granted, the they're is, out there going live, and that's amazing that they can like, perform like that. Looking live, you know, like looking at a DVD. Life sometimes is pretty cool, but sometimes it's just boring. Like I have this, um, I have i concerts. That's a music channel, and I basically have i concerts on demand. And I have like all kinds of concerts of like Nelly Furtado. Who wants to watch that? But um, th those concerts are really boring. But when you're actually there, it's it's more about the experience. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the experience is something. Different. Yeah, it's amazing. Like. Uh, d definitely at a festival. Uh, certainly, as as um, uh, the festival I, we that was broadcast on YouTube. That it's a it's a three day festival. So basically, have like a, a, a little camping site where you sleep on. Yeah, you know what I want them to bring back YouTube Live. They had it back in what was it? Oh eight or oh seven or so. Serious? Yeah, YouTube Live, and it was an actual YouTube concert. They brought. In all the YouTubers, I know they have you know other conventions now like VidCon and such, but YouTube Live was actually hosted by YouTube, and then they starred. And they had music there like, or something. Well, well, like they had like I think you know, I've seen people, one of them before. I'm not sure. Um, like people who did uh, music, they had them come. Like even Katy Perry was there. Oh wow! Yeah, so like they brought in people you know that were. You know, top YouTube stars and brought them in, and you know, well, hey, and then listed all the YouTubers that would be there. That's that's pretty amazing. Yeah, but th they only did it for one year. You know, I expected it to be a, a yearly thing. But was it because of an anniversary or something? No, if if it wasn't, YouTube wasn't even around for that long at the time. It was like maybe two like two three years? years. Yeah. yeah, two and a half year anniversary. Uh, something like that, but I, no, that's probably do, not. I think it was in San Francisco. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, like the the um, like YouTubers are growing out of YouTube as well. Like uh, I don't know if you heard of Hikakin. It's like this mm -hmm. this beatboxer from uh, Japan, and he's like on tour with uh, Aerosmith right now. Yeah, there's a violinist, uh, Jason Yang. He tours with um, Madonna. Yeah, exactly. And they, they all started off with YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Same with... Okay, I, I don't like him, but same with Justin Bieber. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bieber. Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. But, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> well, yeah, Justin Bieber now. might have gone a little bit too fast. But something like Nonstop, that's the dancer you might know him yeah. from. Yeah, Nonstop yeah. is amazing. He's touring with Aerosmith as well. He's touring with Hikakin and Aerosmith. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they do Walk This Way together. It, it looks kind of weird with all the dubstep dance and then like the beatbox. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty rad. Pretty rad, huh? Yeah. Rad, <laughs> yeah. Radtacular. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's uh, rectangular. <laughs> That's pretty rectangular, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well. But um. I think yeah, we should some, wrap this up, though. I get. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. We've been talking for uh, an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah. This. I think this part is an hour. Few, yeah. I think. Uh, it's been a while. We're we're pretty much out of out, out of ideas. Right, we're just kind of rambling on. The biggest yeah. question yeah. I want for everybody to think about is the name. Okay, yeah. that's all I, I, that's all I want. The right ending now. should end in nation. Well, that sounded cool. Something nation. T mm. Zug nation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or or you could just say just syndicate. <laughs> Syndicate Nation. No, no, no. Ryland, Nation, just, Ryland just Jaws Syndicate, syndicate Zoo, Zoo Nation. <laughs> Put all our names together in one jet. Put a five at the end. <laughs> Put a five at the end. <laughs> yeah. No letters, no XX, no swag fag references. Just... No, no five. What the hell? <laughs> XX. So oh, you're, oh, you're. Oh, you're old. Old. Oh, I, I can't see. type in this. I can't write in this, by the way. I you gave are, yours. Oh, you're on a guess. Someone, yeah, someone add him. I gave yours my email, but you didn't really do anything. We'll do something, yours. Or wait, Ryland, can you yours? Do it? Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, tell I can do it email. as well. You, you guys can all do it, since you're admins and you can. Well, I'm uh, just gonna tell you all my email like a retard, Alec. <laughs> I just, just. But uh, I guess we gotta. Chat. I guess we gotta wrap it up right here. Well, I uh, hack me, boys. How about this most recent? Uh, when it's XX swag hashtag YOLO nation 5XX. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we were taking this seriously. Um, well, I will think about that name. <laughs> uh, I'll probably so, uh, something. Yeah. That's so I hope you guys bad. enjoyed them. Um, I don't know who's second in command. Me and Chrome <laughs> are probably because we're operators, but just, just yeah. Let's let's end this off. So yeah, um, I guess we're gonna be the judges in it. Yeah. yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of yeah, of the Whatever new podcast. podcast of our wonderful, wonderful podcast. talking. Yeah, and you're hearing my beautiful voice. I will probably live stream the next podcast, and we will hope that nothing goes wrong, and that we'll have some more people. <laughs> uh, well, with with that, what we can do is someone host the call, right, and then um, I'll live stream it off of Twitch. my Twitch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I'll so record it. I'll be recording. And then someone else recorded, you know. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be, be recording it as well. And then, then I'll be the host with like all the all the topics and stuff because I think that went pretty well. Well, um, uh, sort of. Uh, well, yeah. In the, in the hey, beginning, hey, third it, time's yeah. the charm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, we have this reflection and evaluation on previous podcast yeah. section. Yeah. So, um, if you guys uh, have any tips. Down there in the comment section, don't don't screw it up. We know the comment section is kind of weird, but don't don't <laughs> screw it up. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, does someone uh, have my name it yet? It feels weird when people comment on a video because I always feel ob obligated to like Listen. say to something answer. back. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, like every time I get something like, uh, do you have the tabs of this? I'm, I'm yeah okay yes I have but let's just. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, then then, then I then I uh, never or something. But um, yeah, guess we gotta end off right here. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Who's tight to? Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Chrome signing off. Okay. See ya.